Hello everybody, it's Kitsies, welcome back to my channel, and it's that time, it's time for a Lush haul. Okay, it's actually time for three Lush hauls. <laughs> um, as you will probably maybe have noticed, I've not been here as much, but I've still been getting stuff. So this is going to be a haul of stuff that I bought before Christmas, let's crack into it. Oh. Okay, so the first item I got, I'll, I'll take these two out because I've been using these in my bathroom because I'd run out previously. The first one is the Dark Angels Cleanser. This is the one with charcoal in. It's also got black sugar in. I watched an amazing video about um, how it's made. Lush have a YouTube channel. I think it might be Lush North America. I've used half of that now. It's very good for oily skin. Uh, it's very exfoliating and I use it every morning. Must have. And then after I cleanse my face with that, I use tea tree water, toner water, which has tea tree water in, and it's also grapefruit water and juniper berry water. Then I got, oh, I got three of these. I got three little um, bath oil trays, and these are made from recycled coffee cups. <laughs> and I just thought that's really cute. It's just a little thing of four, which you can pack up like a little, like a little egg carton. And it says like lush on the top there. There it is. I mean, they were really cheap, so I bought them. Oh, there's some Christmas things in here. Then I bought a bottle of perfume, which I've been obsessed with. I have spritzed myself with this a few times, I admit. So it comes in a little box that's like Gorilla Perfume. It's a little powdery and stuff because there's bath bombs and God knows what else in there. But I am kind of in love with this perfume. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? Tank Battle. Now I heard this, well I saw this described rather as someone who sprays himself with snow fairy and then lives in a tank for two weeks. It's like got patchouli in I think, let me see, yeah patchouli um, but it's got that bubble gum thing to start with, let me just, oh it starts off like quite sweet and then it goes musky in the patchouli and it's just, I just sprayed that on my face, it probably wasn't the best idea. Um, but I wanted it somewhere I could smell it rather than like, that was a stupid decision. It's a little strong on the face. Would not advise you do that. It's just really unique. Starts off really sweet and then you get the patchouli and it just does smell like the snow fairy in a tank for three, two to three weeks. It's just so nice. Oh, we got some samples in this box. 25th of November. That's, <laughs> that's when this box is from. Here are the samples we got in this box. Lip service lip balm because I gave my existing sample to my mum. I feel like this is one of the best lip balms that Lush do. Then we have a rump bottom rub, which you just rub on yourself basically. I've not used that before, so we'll see. Then we got Happy Hippie shower gel, American cream conditioner, and then they also gave me oh, that's a bit. Ooh, that's gone a bit weird. Okay, they also gave me a sample of Saucy Snowcake Soap. Love when I get soap samples. And then they gave me a sample of Snow Fairy Naked Shower Gel, except it's grown little fuzzy bits all over it. I don't think it's mould, because that would be a little gross. That's really strange. I'm thinking maybe it just dried out, or maybe it got a little damp. I don't know. But yeah, so that's the Snow Fairy Naked Shower Gel. Then I got the Starlight Star Bright Bath Melt. This is the one with ginger oil in. Let's just put you um over there, because... The next thing in this box is the Hidden Mountain Soap, because I hadn't actually got one of these yet. And I really love it. Reminds me a little bit of Needles on Pines, but like a bit more woody. The next thing in this box is the Christmas Sweater Bath Bomb. And this is the one with ginger and it's got mustard powder in. And it's just a very spicy Christmassy smell. Ah, I wondered where this was. I didn't know if I'd got one or not. This is the Snow Cloud Soap. So this has marshmallow root, uh, rosewood and sandalwood in. Reminds me of something, but I can't think what. It's a very uh, clean kind of smelling thing. Then I got a Snow Angel Bath Melt. Dun dun dun. Very glittery. And it feels like it has dried out a bit. Like the white is pretty much solid. Oh, the gold, however, is not. But it's got the snow cake scent, the marzipani gorgeousness. It's the last thing in this box. It's the first one of its kind that I've gotten. <laughs> it's the giant golden wonder bath bomb. And it rattles. Oh, it just dropped something. Okay, let's not play around with it. So this has the Celebrate fragrance. Oh, I just... all that gold powder just came off of it. <gasps> no! Let's see what's in this one. 
Okay, so the samples in here are Shooting Stars Soap, which I actually really bloody like that. These, they've done the same thing in here. Um, okay, Snow Fairy Body Conditioner. And then two of the Naked Shower Gels. They've got this fuzz all over them. This is the Bubbly Naked Shower Gel. And then, again, Rose Jam Naked Shower Gel. And that's got the little bits on as well. So it just must be a, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, the next thing I got is actually something I've not gotten before from Lush, apart from in samples, and that's a hair conditioner. I chose to get the Retread hair conditioner. It says a heavier weight conditioner that is there for you in times of trouble. Put a plentiful coating on the hair and let it go about its work. This is what it looks like, just a big old tub. And it's got agar, agar in, it's got soy milk, olive oil, cantaloupe, soy yogurt, avocado oil etc etc then I got three body sprays the first one I got is so white which is the apple fragrance the Santa's belly fragrance or so white the bath bomb yeah needed to get this I also got Lord of Misrule and snow fairy because you can't not get a snow fairy body spray i'm sorry you just can't yeah, that was everything in this little box i say little box it's still bloody expensive and then we have a big old box this big to be precise no bloody idea what's in here oh yes so i ordered the body spray stuff on the 27th of november so we're progressing a little bit this box i ordered on the 11th of december so we're still pre-christmas but we're getting there we're getting there samples are monsters and alien fun blue fun i'm losing my voice can you hear <laughs> and they also gave me once upon a time body lotion which i adore i've got that in naked form and not naked form that's another reincarnation of the so white smell chris tingle body conditioner i will be passing that on because i'm not a fan and twilight shower gel i have quite a lot of twilight shower gel so i might pass that on as well so I'll start with the basic stuff first maybe. Salted coconut hand scrub. I actually bought two of these because I gave one to my mum for Christmas. And this smells like sun cream. Someone told me they thought it smelled of Play-Doh but it smells of coconut sun cream to me. And it's just such a nice feeling when you can scrub your hands with this and then put a really nice hand cream on. Like at the moment I'm using Smitten which has like the Marzi Pani kind of smell. Again. Loads of people are telling me it smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> I also got a Bucks Fizz body conditioner in this order and that also went to my mum. So, the first thing I got is the Calicas shower gel. I never had this before. Very excited. It's like lime and neroli from what I remember. Aloe vera, lime, neroli, yep. And it's the same smell as Monster's Ball, the Enchanter. This is gorgeous. It's so limey and just, oh, oh, that is delicious. Oh, I need to take a quick break and take an antibiotic. <laughs> Chest infection, recovering from it. So bear with me two seconds. Where did I put my antibiotics? Ta-da! <sighs> yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. I wish I had gotten more than one, but saying that I have so many shower gels. Next up, I got two of the So White shower gels. Appley and delicious. Wish I had bought two of the Calacas ones now, but hindsight is a bitch. Uh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the next thing I bought is a fave. Is a fave. I'm sure I have some somewhere still, but I still bought a fresh piece of Yognog soap. Someone told me it smelled like burnt toast, and now I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> burnt toast with like a creamy, nutmeggy kind of smell. I also bought two of the Jingle Spells bath bomb. Now, I've not had these before. It's got juniper berry oil in, tangerine oil, fennel oil, ylang yang. Pretty things there, like a shiny gold thing. I also got a little bombardino bath bomb. Creamy, vanilla-y, caramelly kind of smell. I also got a dashing Santa bath bomb, which is mandarin, bergamot, and orange flower. It's been a while since I've had that one. I also got, how many of these did I get? I don't know. I think I got two of these. The So White Bath Bomb. Appley and delicious, especially when you use all of them together. Put this in the bath and then use the shower gel and then spray yourself. No, then use the body lotion and then use the body spray. And then the last thing I got in this order is a glittery bugger. It is Bling Crosby. <laughs> May your baths be merry and bright. And this is basically karma. 
this smells like karma. So yeah, that was everything in this Lush haul. And now I'm gonna film my Boxing Day sale Lush haul, and then the Valentine's Day Lush haul, and then I'm done for the night, because it's half 11, and I feel like I'm being loud. I'm trying not to be, but I feel like I'm being loud for the neighbors upstairs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.